Welcome, Awakening Hearts. I'm your host, Denny Van. I'm so excited to be speaking with Krista Gray today. And uh, Krista, darling, as I'm reading through your bio, there's a couple things that really stick out. But I want to tell you that she is a entrepreneur and intuitive energy worker, Akashic Records practitioner and designer. Okay, here's what really struck me is that you have a six-figure home staging business, mm-hmm. and staging company. Tell me about that or tell us. Yeah. So um, I um, have a home staging business. It's here in um, the DMV, which is DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Um, and it um, at first I actually acquired it. It was my aunt's business. And when I was in college, um, I would help out here and there. And she found, I think it's like, you know, natural talent and runs in the family. Um, she realized I had a, a knack for it. And so, um, she decided to train me, um, in hopes to retire. Cause it's kind of hard to retire when you're a small business owner. Um, it's harder to sell businesses and whatnot. So yeah, she trained me, um, and taught me everything I need to know about staging. Um, I always have like an affinity for interior design and interior decorating. Um, but staging was definitely now you you new. noticed my background right away. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first thing you noticed <laughs> is the background. That was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so like I've always had that like like I've loved that, but I always thought interior design was like I, how does anyone become an interior designer that like, it felt like such a dream job. Um, but I actually fell into staging through her and I eventually got in the position where I bought the business from her, um, in 2020, which was a little crazy because we didn't know where 2020 was going, (laughs) um, during that time. So bought it during the pandemic and it actually, skyrocketed. I found that I was just a natural born entrepreneur. It's just like, I was like, I was made for this. And, um, yeah, from there it's been just growing and I have five employees now where it was just me and her. Now I have five employees and, um, it's grown to multiple six figures and yeah, I, I love it. Um, so I'm reading yeah. right here. Um, you mentioned Akashic Records, and I'm a huge mm-hmm. fan of the Akashic Records. I've done yeah. tons of research and work with the Akashic Records. And what's interesting is that you focus it on business and personal growth yeah. so that whatever's going on within your records, you heal it. Tell us about that, how um, you mentioned aligned opportunities at a yeah. five. How does the Akashic Records help that? Yeah, so... Um, while running the staging business, I hit burnout and I was always interested in spirituality, but I kept the two separate business and spirituality were separate. And I, once I hit burnout, I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. There must be like some easier way. Like what am I not doing? What's not working? And, um, I was drawn to another Akashic records reader on, um, this, uh, I watched Gaia, which is like spiritual Netflix. (laughs) And, um, I was so drawn to the Akashic records. I had never heard of it before. And, um, I just started doing a bunch of research. I, I like read all the books. I, I listened to people's readings on YouTube and, um, I ended up doing a course. And what I found was, um, even before I did the course, I would practice it myself, but during the course, I really found that I had a natural ability for it. I can hear things audibly through my my thoughts voice. I can see um, uh, movies and pictures in my mind's eye. And what I found is like, that's not necessarily normal. A lot of people just get like a knowing um, from the Akashic records. And I can see like, it's like, it turned on all my psychic abilities basically is what I, what I found. And um, it feels like it was almost a remembering rather than learning it again. And so it just has naturally flown from there. Yeah. Natural flow. And Mm -hmm. the Akashic Records, you know, it's the matrix, the book of life where everything is written down. Um, Talk about no thoughts are new thoughts. This is all within this ether, you know, Mm -hmm. everything's held there. So in combining that with business, Mm -hmm. um, do you help other businesses or did you use it to grow your business tell us how you used it yeah both so fascinating Um, both yeah so I describe it as um universal consciousness and it's a record of everything that has 
whatever happened in your past life, everything that's happening now and the highest probability of what could happen in the future. And um, what I found is I might, I would ask a business question, right? So I would ask, okay, so like, how can I, um, how can I create more freedom, like while still making money? Because that's the whole point of being an entrepreneur to me is like freedom. I want to feel free. Um, and the messages I would get wouldn't necessarily be like business strategy, right? It would, it would relay it back to maybe a limiting belief I have and, um, would help me heal that. So it might be like, okay, well, you have a limiting belief of in order to make money, you have to work really hard. It's a trade-off. And um, as I explored my records, I found that that was like from a past life belief and it's been passed down through my ancestry. And now that I've identified it, I asked like, how can I heal it? And then so through that, it's helped me with my business. And when I do it with clients, um, I actually get business information and business ideas. So for instance, I just did a reading yesterday with someone who's in PR and um, she wanted to um, be able to handle more. She felt like she was burning out. She had a couple employees and she's just like, you know, she's like, how can I balance it all? And what came through was that she needs to learn to let go of control and delegate more and trust that the people that she hired can handle handle more and trust them with it and give them that affirmation that they can do it. I, I hired you for a reason. I trust you with this. Here you go. And like, let them fly. <laughs> and um, um, yeah. And so stuff like that comes through. Awesome. So you do Akashic readings for people who want to grow their business. That is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you do, um, cause you mentioned uh, energy work. Mm -hmm. and does that, is that included with the Akashic records? Is there a so difference? I do. Yes. And I do both. So um, energy work, I have found that when I give readings, sometimes we'll come up against um, something that was really impactful in someone's life. Um, maybe it was a past life or from their childhood and it is still impacting them today, maybe in a way that they don't desire. And um, I can do energy work with them um, in order to heal that. Um, and so that's one way to do it through the records. It's like a whole process. It really just depends on what the um, belief or um, feeling is that we're trying to work through. And then um, for away from the records, outside of the records, I do it um, spatially. So um, within people's homes, I have a whole process of doing energy work and home blessing and um, setting intentions within each room in order to call in more abundance. So that kind of relates more to like my staging and design side too. Yeah, I love that. And I love, you know, um, it seemed like a natural flow. Yeah. To to, it's like next step. Okay. Natural next step, next step, next step. So, um, was there a point when you knew that your heart was awakening and that there was more to just putting the lamp on that table over there? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So, um, I, there's, I could have like two answers to this. So I feel like, um, I've always been doing the energy work within people's spaces without knowing I'm doing it or without calling a name to it. So um, I, I've always done it. And I actually have never gone to school for design. I don't have an interior design degree. It just has come to me and I just have like that that eye for it. And I'm confident to say that. Like I'm, I'm good at design and it's just natural. And um, with the energy work, I uh, when I found out about the Akashic Records, I um, went to someone for a reading of my own and um, I was really searching for a way to incorporate spirituality and my staging. I didn't really think of um, having a new business outside of staging. I wanted to more incorporate it in staging. And what this woman told me is that you're already doing energy work as you're, as you're staging, as you're doing these designs, you're placing things just so, so the energy flows this way. Um, your energy itself is putting a good intention in the space. And, um, I actually always like, kind of like say like a little like blessing or prayer, I guess you would call it in the homes I stage. And, um, I think it adds that like extra <laughs> for them to sell faster. And so, yeah, it's like, I, I've, I've been doing it all along. 
confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Just confirmation. Okay. This is, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So for, for people listening, heart, their hearts are awakening. You know, these are awakening hearts and mm. um, on this path, looking for tools and stuff like that and yeah. um, trying to figure it out. What would you tell them today? Yeah. So what always comes through is that there's nothing outside of yourself that is going to make an impact other like more so than your intuition and your gut feeling. And I always say, follow your intuition. So I was led through this journey to be an entrepreneur. I didn't know if I could do it. And I just knew in my gut, like Krista, you're doing this, like keep going um, with coming out of the spiritual closet online um, to the public, <laughs> to, to, you know, just like being more open about it. Um, I was just led there. I was so scared when I first started talking about spirituality. I was like, oh my gosh, these people from high school um, that I don't even talk to anymore are going to think I'm a weirdo. Like, why do I even care? Um, why do I care what- Krista like, went woo. <laughs> yeah, like why? Yeah, so- Krista went yeah. woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, ooh, she's crazy now. Yeah, too woo woo for me. And coming but, out of the spiritual closet, yeah. Yeah, but just like following your intuition has led me to the best, best situations in my life. And I feel like the more that I follow my intuition, the more it speaks to me and the stronger it gets and the more clear it gets. So that's my advice to anyone that's just kind of starting this journey or already along the path is continue to trust your intuition. It's not just you know, a random voice. It's there for a reason Absolutely. and um, it's there to guide you. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. It's a reminder for myself every day. Listen, Yeah. talk yeah. less, listen more. Yeah. <laughs> I've been and talking all day be today. Scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it can be scary to follow something that like, you don't know where it's leading you. But I always say like, it's kind of like watching your favorite movie for the first time. Like, don't you love that excitement? And like afterwards you're like, that was like the best thing ever. Like, I'm so glad I watched that. And so it's like following your intuition, going along for the ride and not knowing what's going to happen, but you know, it'll lead you the right way is what I see it as. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, looking through here, um, you offer Akashic record readings focused on business and personal growth. And so tell us about um, your launch. You're in the middle of launching a group container, yeah. a mind interior. Yeah. Tell us about that. I'm really curious. Yeah. So um, the Akashic record readings for um, business owners and emerging entrepreneurs, that's one thing that I offer, um, which I love and I'm very passionate about that. Um, but what I'm also offering is also geared towards um, emerging entrepreneurs or just people that um, really want to align to their next level self. And it's not all about mindset. A lot of this actually has to be brought down to the physical because we live in a material world, right? So um, we have to make physical actions and physical shifts along with mindset shifts. And so um, I have developed this process where I would compare it to like feng shui and a home blessing and Marie Kondo, like find your joy within the house. Like it's a huge mix um, along with energy work and the container that I'm um, developing is four weeks long. So each week um, there's different uh, journal prompts, uh, homework to do and meditations that we go through in order to align your surroundings, your home, um, your office space with that of your ideal self. Um, because everything physical has a consciousness and has an energy. So why not pay more attention to that and pay attention to what you're surrounding yourself with? Um, because it is affecting you, whether you whether you notice it or not. Um, so why not, you know, be intentional and set intentions within each space that you spend the most time in so that it can like infuse into your energy and help you be that ideal self that you want. Um, so that's what we focus on in Aligned Interior. And it launches um, in September is when we're starting. Awesome. So how can people find you? Yeah, um, I'm most active on my Instagram, um, which is Krista Gray underscore Kirschman, K-I-R-S-C-H-M-A-N. Um, that is my married name, which I haven't legally changed yet, cross nation, but 
So it's Krista Gray underscore Kirschman. And then um, you also can go to Refined Energy online. Um, that's my business name. So that's on Instagram too. And my website is www.refinedenergy.life, L-I-F-E. And all this information is there and like more details on the Akashic Record readings and Aligned Interior and just like spiritual info in general. I post some blogs on there too. Excellent. Yeah, I know a lot of people do like to read. So we will leave um, the information on Krista's contacts and where you can find her in the description below. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a Thank pleasure. You. How do we connect? Um, I mean, how did how did we you and I connect? Yeah, how did we connect? We were on um that uh, the Facebook podcast um, networking oh, the, group. The women's podcasters um it's just the podcast networking group so there's men oh, in there the too yeah awesome. and I loved it I was so surprised at how many um like spiritual people are on that um, it's a great way to connect with people yeah I've I've connected with so many awesome people yeah I I'm like I was blown away I'm like oh my gosh this is this is amazing everyone that I've connected with on there has been like so kind and so nice and yeah it's like a Wonderful. joy I'm so glad we connected yeah all right too. awakening hearts thank you thank you so much if you liked what you heard and what you saw do be sure to like subscribe and share and leave me a note in the comments what did you love and what would you love more of and in the meantime keep being amazing